Right, this is uh, part two. You can watch this as a standalone video. Um, I've got this Acousticom 2 electrosmog detector. I'm just taking some taking readings in my flat, some masonette, first floor, um, to find out where I'm getting, you know, microwave, <coughs> RF, EMF radiation coming in. The worst place is the lounge here where I am although because that party wall there that partition wall is the neighbors and uh, there's they got their wi-fi router right down there about a, a foot on the other side of that wall so i'll switch this on and you can see the readings i'm getting 0 0.3 volts per meter um which works out about 240 microwatts per meter squared which is too high it's going into the red it was earlier in my other video, which was done about half an hour ago. <clears throat> it was peaking at one volt per meter, which is very high. That's two over two and a half thousand microwatts per meter squared, and the building biology standards suggest anything over ten microwatts or zero point zero six, which is down here. Anything over that is too high. So <clears throat> I've got these boxes. I've got various shielding materials, including a um, copper mesh. And um, a fabric from Y Shield, the same company as the paint, German company, is a fabric. Wrap these boxes. Plus, I've got three paints from Y Shield as well. I've painted three boxes uh, with them. I put this Acousticom inside the boxes, and then we see how it takes down the readings, um, how effective the shielding is. The first video was showing one layer, these boxes here, uh, and then one layer of the paints. I've now put a second layer of paint on each box um, with the paints on and I'm going to have a look at those now and compare them to the copper mesh and the fabric. <clears throat> Sorry if this is a bit rushed but I've, I've got to do other things. So right, I'm just going to put this uh, detector down here. Right, now the, uh, it's actually peaking at one there, it's very high, it's very high. So it's sticking on one, that's higher than I've seen it before, um, really bad, I'll put the sound on. That's Wi-Fi, that ticking, clicking sound is Wi-Fi. Right, so the first one I'm going to test is the copper mesh. Okay, so it's inside copper mesh straight away, it drops right down to the green. That's pretty good. Zero point zero five, that's within sort of I mean building biology standards are sort of give ten microwatts or zero point zero six volts per meter as an upper limit safe limit I suppose they say but it is going a bit higher but that's certainly certainly better than it was right certainly better than it was so now I'm going to try the uh, the Y shield fabric shielding fabric <coughs> see how it goes straight back up again to one that's over two and a half thousand microwatts per meter squared. That's really high. This is the fabric here. Let's wrap this box in it. No gaps. All right. Wrap this box in it. It's all continuous, by the way. I haven't cut the fabric. It's all folded over, so there's no gaps there. go so again it drops it straight down 0 0.1 volts per meter which is about 26 microwatts per meter squared so now we're getting into much better uh, levels I mean ultimately zero is what you want but it's, it's very difficult in a built-up area of smart meters and everything else okay so 
there you've got it's made a significant difference that fabric I don't think it's better than the copper mesh but it's it's pretty good 0 0.05 so and going into the green so yeah it's almost pretty much as good as the mesh I suppose next I'm going to try um, the Y Shield Pro 54 paint which is their latest paint Pro 54 paint, the box entirely covered in the paint, all sides. That's sticking at what? At one there, that's pretty bad. Okay, put, try this. Let me just. Okay, so there, again that's dropped it down, 0 0.05 fluctuating between 0 0.02 and 0 0.05 between green and yellow, pretty good, that's two layers, I can't remember what one layer did but, but that's holding 0 0.05 which is the upper limit for building biology um, quote unquote safe levels you know 10 microwatts uh, that's what you want maximum in the bedroom sleeping area I mean that's pretty good considering that's gone from 1 volt per meter 2600 and that's dropped that down to about 10 just over 10 microwatts per meter squared that's pretty good and they're well into the green there into the green. I remember that I've got an open box here so microwave can be getting in through the back but um, that's pretty good. That's two layers of Pro 54 Y Shield paint which is what they recommend. You can use one but you know two layers obviously is what you want. So we're well into the green there. Fluctuates a bit. The next one I'm going to try is the HSF 54, which is the original one, but it was um, updated in 2014 as per their website, they said. So we'll go look back up to one. That's really high from the neighbour's Wi Fi straight through that wall. That's not good. This is the HSF 54, same thing, just written it on the box there. This is the original paint, but again they updated it. The switch is off if you don't. Yeah, after a while, save the battery. Um, they've updated it. Apparently, there's no. Um, the Pro 54 has no graphite, so this does have graphite, whatever that means. But um, let's try this. There's two layers of this as well. So it's dropped it down to 0 0.1 and it's holding steady there. And again this is two layers of paint on this. So 0 0.1 volts per meter which is about 26 and a half microwatts per meter squared. Working to get down to 10 microwatts per meter squared or 0 0.06. It doesn't seem to be dropping below that. The Pro 54 seem to be giving a lower reading there so I don't know why that one would shield better but oh yeah we are going into the green well that's whole I mean that that would be there you go that would be acceptable we are into the green now holding steady at 0 0.02 I mean that's what you want in your bedroom, your sleeping area that's what you want all over the house really but the sleeping area is most important I reckon 
So the final paint I'm going to try is the HSF 64, which I think is it has less preservatives or it's more environmentally more environmentally friendly or something like that. I don't know, but we're going a bit higher now. But that's that's pretty good considering you know when I take this out, we're going to go right back up, right back up to where it was. Two hundred and forty microwatts per meter squared. <laughs> I mean, the Wi-Fi intensity changes depending on whether it's being used or not. The Wi-Fi is on permanently, but if you're watching a film, actually using the Wi-Fi on the computer, it intensifies. It uses uses more um, power. But I try it again. Zero point three volts per meter. I'm going to stick that in again. See what we get. Yeah, come from 0 0.3 to 0 0.05. So it's quite, it's definitely a significant drop. I'm gonna try last paint now. Oh, we're right back up to one. Let me try this. Try it once more. Try it once more when it's at. That's pretty good. It's gone from one volt per meter down to 0 0.02, 0 0.01. Pretty good. Yeah, definitely works. I'm going to try the last paint now. HSF 64 here same thing just a box painted with it all sides all elevations I'm just stick that in there yeah. there okay there we go yeah. 0 0.05 0 0.1 I mean, if that's all I could get it down to in here, I'd be happy with that, because compared to what it is now, you know, it's unacceptable. Take it out. Peaking at one there, look. One. Zero point three. Right. it down so they do work there's no doubt they work thanks for watching